Okay, so now we're going to look at some pirouettes. We'll start off with a real basic exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our feet apart. You're going to go right, left, up onto a demi. You're then going to go right, left, and your right foot is going to go behind. And this is going to be your preparation for your pirouette. Okay, so you'll start with your feet together. You'll go right, left, take them apart, which will bring you up. You're then going to go right, left to bring you into a nice downward position so your knees are then ready to prepare for your pirouette. With this, your arms are going to go and out when we do our right, left to just open our legs apart. When we then change, we're going to bring our arms into a preparation position ready for our pirouette. You're going to have the opposite arm to leg. So I currently have left leg forward, right arm forward. So it's opposition, like we're walking down the road. The other arm out, nice and strong to the side. Okay, that's going to get us into our preparation. So we're going to do right, left, right, left. From there, from our nice bent knees, we're going to go up onto our front foot. We're going to bring our back leg in and we're going to hold our pirouette position. Now, I want you to try and hold that as long as you can without wobbling and falling over. All right? So we're going to go right, left, right, left, and hold. Then down when you need to walk. Okay? We're then going to do the same thing using the other leg first. So we'll go left, right, left, right. So now this time I should have my right foot forward and my left arm forward. The other arm is out. And again, we've got our knees nice and bent in our preparation. From there we go up, we hold as long as we can, and then we bring our feet down together, okay? We're going to do that whole thing together in one section. So it will go right, left, right, left, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, okay? That's our first part of the exercise. So, if you'd like to practice that for a little while, then please pause the video, practice a few of those, and then we'll move on to the next section. Next section will be with a single turn. Now, when we do our turns from our preparation position, we're going to pick up the back foot, we're going to tuck it into our knee. We want to make sure that our supporting leg is pulled up, and we're using all of our tummy muscles to support our upper body. Now when we turn, we don't want to think of throwing ourselves around in a circle because we'll go off balance. We want to think of pulling up to the ceiling, like someone has taken the hair on top of our head and is pulling it up as high as it can go. The higher you can get up onto your toe, the more balance you are going to have. But please remember, we are on a demi point. Okay? Do not try and get right up onto the tips of your toes. That's a completely different technique. Okay? So we're going to go right, left. Right, left, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, with a single turn, right, left, right, left, single turn, down, left, right, left, right, single turn, down, okay, try that for a little while, and then if you're feeling really brave, you can go for a double pirouette with two turns but please make sure you master each stage of this before moving on to the next step. Again, things to look out for. Pull up that supporting leg that's holding all of your weight and make sure your body is nice and upright and your head feels like it's being pulled up towards the ceiling. Tuck your other foot in. Really get your knee nice and straight and get your foot tucked in towards your supporting leg's knee, okay? With your arms, for now we're going to keep them nice and relaxed. So you've done your, prepar your preparation, you're then going to bring your arms in in front of you. Okay? We want to also think about getting our head back in line with where we're facing. So from our preparation position, as soon as I pick this leg up and start to turn, my head wants to stay facing forward until it can't anymore, and then I need to whip it round back to where it started. That's called spotting, and that's what's gonna help you get those turns nice and quick, and also uh, with good technique and good style. So, as I said, practice those a section at a time. Just the preparation and pulling up, then we're gonna try with a single pirouette, and then if you'd like to, move on to doubles and triples if you're feeling really brave. 
do make sure that you're in uh, a room with lots of space for this because you are going to wobble the first few times and we don't want to be falling over any objects in the room. So make sure you've got lots of space around you and good luck. <laughs>